go. And I will shut up and let you have a great interview. Okay, thanks. How are you, Peter? I'm well, Suzanne. How are you? Pretty good. Just got a grocery delivery. So <laughs> and I have a plumber in there in the other room. So I'm like, all these things I want. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. Multi, multi tap. I was wondering, I was like, why is she wearing a mask in her house? So you got <laughs> I thought about wearing it here, but uh, <laughs> so um tell us how this role came about for you. So so this this role came because the the writer, director, Ben Epstein, reached out to my agent and uh, sent a script. And I read it and saw some of his other work that he produced. And, and uh, uh, this is going to be a very interesting kind of film. I like the character. I haven't done a lot of feature work, mostly television, uh, and very little feature work. And it seemed like it would be a great role a great film to be a part of and uh, fortunately it all worked out and it's it's even better than i thought it would be <laughs> yeah i mean, i watched it uh last night I, I really enjoyed it it was it was good it kept your attention yeah. you know yeah is, is it a, is it an independent movie is it is that what they call it because right, yeah. you know, i've seen a lot of them that they sent to me and so many of them are slow you know or not edited very well or don't make any sense. <laughs> this one, I really liked it. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very good, and it makes you think because it's like you think it's with several of the relationships, you think it's going somewhere, and then it's it's not what you think it is. Yeah, and that's what, yeah. That's what's great about this movie is I think Ben knows enough about people to present characters in a way that you think you know what they're about, and then show you no, you don't know what they're about. Right. And and the trailer doesn't really even tell yeah. you <laughs> the darker so, stuff that comes later in the movie. That, so, yeah. So that's what, when you see the trailer, that's like it starts out like you think it's OK. It's this typical. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go find my real dad. story, <laughs> <laughs> And then it becomes something something more. Yeah. I, I wonder if it's if if people might object to it just because. I'm trying to say, think of a way to say this without spoilers. Um, the character that she finds is not often seen in any kind of sympathetic light. So, so yeah, it's so. So my so let's say this: my character is the sheriff in the town, and so it's you. He. I think as our parents is when we find our parents or want to meet our parents, if you don't know them, whether it's somebody who's adopted looking for their real parents or somebody who finds out that their parents aren't them, it's it's who are you people, but it's kind of like who am I? Mm -hmm. And so you wanna you wanna find the best possible version of you to say, you know, who you are from. And and then when you find out that you're not from the best possible person, you know, that can mess with you. Right. And I think that's, that's what, that's it, the, the, the question of, you know, our expectations and there's questions of redemption and forgiveness and, you know, what is possible. And I think that's what people have to sort of wrestle with Mm -hmm. with this picture and and who are these are there are there good guys and bad guys or just people sort of stumbling through life trying to figure it out and making mistakes and right and and even with my character I think there's complexity and and mm -hmm. he has a, a, some negative history with Devin's character and and whose fault is it really you know, so I, I think that's kind of a little bit of that theme in in different levels of the story of who 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 are good people and who are who are bad people or in a circumstance who caused the negativity or yeah, uh, yeah. and, and, and yeah, then people will wrestle with it. And the good and the good movies show that kind of complexity and everybody everybody's not just black and white in real life. So 
Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We, we tend to want to think of that people that way and put them in little boxes, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, it, and it really, and that was even as, as an actor reading the script, you know, I think, okay, well, I know this is how I'm going to play this moment or think of this thing. And then you get on the set and, and the performances of the other actors bring out something different. Right. And, uh, and so it's uh, the, what I initially read and how the, the script, the film, the, the movie, you know, seeing the movie experience is very different than reading the script experience. Sure. And, and, uh, and very, I think it's a, I very much enjoyed the film and very proud to have been a part of it. Yeah, you actually see character development in the movie, which again is rare, I think, for any kind of movie. <laughs> yes, I, I know. I mean, I, I think know. it would have made a great TV series, to be honest. I want to know what else happens to these people. Right. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, as, as was said, you sort of you sort of come in in the middle and then go out before it's all over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, did the get did the director give you uh, much backstory about your character, or just what was on the page? Um, no, we we talked we talked a, a, a bit about it because it it definitely impacts how I deal with Devin's character. You know, just really what is what is the history there? Some of the issues with my son and how how he saw the character versus how I saw the character. There were more moments where, uh, you know, I, I wanted to be more forceful or more, I, th I think um, Ben allowed me to see some more deeper layers to the character mm -hmm. in terms of what he was experiencing in moments. So, you know, it was, that's that's part of what, what made it a, a positive experience for me and I think helped me grow as an actor, you know, still. Wow, still, huh? That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you've been working a long time, Mike. Yeah, yeah, uh, I've been blessed to be working over 40 years. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, you look good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I watched Knight Rider, but I think I quit watching before your character came along. Yeah, I was a regular the last season, RC3. Yeah, yeah I think uh, I've so. given up on it by then. <laughs> by then, yeah. So <laughs> it changed a lot over the years. It was, I know they had a couple different uh, char couple different Bonnie characters or, or whatever, and uh, the last year was good. It was. It's it's funny that it's made such an impact and it, the show was only on for four seasons yeah yeah well and, it was an uh, unusual show for, uh, yeah, yeah I, I even as as recently just before covid was still going to night rider conventions that they had i went to one in 2018 and in england they had a wow great big convention That's funny. So it, well it, maybe it does well internationally uh it's my guess because it's not, you know, it's not like the dialogue is all that important in that show. So I bet it's, they have fans all worldwide. Yes, big fans worldwide. Yeah. But, um, uh, hopefully this will be to the same February. I want, I want, I got to say February twenty fourth. Definitely it comes out on theaters. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tell everyone. Um, yeah. Now you were on a few daytime soaps years ago, and I, I watched you yeah. on them. I, I saw okay. you. I was watching One Life to Live when you were on. I remember. You okay. Were. And I watched As the World Turns a little bit, and I remember your character on there. I really like, um, um, I can't remember the actress name, Jessica, that you were paired with. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tamara Tooney. Yes, yes, thank you. She's yes, great. Yes. And so I definitely remember you on there. And I and then you did The Haves and the Have Nots, which is a prime time. So did did the daytime yes. soaps prepare you well for acting in that? And were there any, there, were there very many differences? Um, yes, they, if it hadn't been for doing daytime, I don't know that I could have done that because we shoot so fast hmm. on that show on, we shoot at a, so say on a film like this, we might've been doing like five, four or five pages a day on soaps. We would do like 50 pages a day. We're working with Tyler. There are days where we do like 80 pages in a day. Wow. 
I heard that a, about yeah. about his shows. Yeah, we, we shot a season in like two weeks, like twenty two <laughs> episodes. Crazy. So it it was that I have I have great I call it disposable memory. <laughs> yeah. so, so there are ways that I have to learn lines, and soap helped me associate lines with blocking and different things. So I have some good kind of memory techniques that. Um, that yeah, it so definitely prepared me for the great for the have and have not experience. I've heard that soaps are great training ground for act, everything acting wise. Yeah, yeah, it's good for it's good for technique. It's it's good to have. I think a theater background helps you with um, like character development, which is I had started in theater, and then daytime helps you just with learning cameras and making a choice and sticking to it. That's great. And you had early hours too. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, you worked with uh, John Schneider a lot on yes. the show. Yeah, on the Have and Have Nots. John Schneider from Dukes of Hazard and, yeah. <laughs> and other things. Yeah, yes. we got a good friendship. Yeah, I was going to say you guys are friends. Yes, still. He was, uh, we were both in uh, LA recently. And uh, got together. His his daughter was having about to have a baby, ah. and while we were out there waiting, I we, we got together. Um, the four of us, me and my wife, and him and his wife, got together and had lunch and hung out. So, yeah, definitely we we have we have maintained our our friendship. That's good. Um, and do you still keep in touch with any of the actors from One Life to Live or As the World Turns? No. Not no. really. There's 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 one guy that was from uh, World Turns, John Howard, uh, that stayed in touch with for years. He's in Louisiana now, but that was on the East Coast. Right. Now I'm, I'm spend more time on the West. I haven't been on the East Coast probably ugh, like 15, <laughs> 16 in a while. Years. Yeah. Wow. So, so. Well, you know, a lot of former. Uh, one Life to Live actors are now in General Hospital. Maybe we should go check that out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that would be that would be fun to to so, reconnect. So, um, anything else you'd like to uh, tell us about uh, this movie? Um, just or that uh, it's a it's a it's a great movie. As as you said, it's it's unlike something you'll enjoy it, but it's very different than movies that are out now. It'll make you think. It'll make you uh feel some things and and look at life i think in a different way but it's uh and some really great work some really great actors and uh, hope you support it go in the theater go to itunes or wherever it wherever it shows up who are you people <laughs> great thank you very much for talking to me i appreciate it all right suzanne thank you all right thank you Thanks.